Today on Crock-Pot Empire, just in time for Cinco de Mayo, we are making a Mexican casserole using our Crock-Pot Express multi-cooker on pressure cooker mode. I will also list the details for the slow cooker function as well for anyone who just wants to set it and forget it. All right, we're gonna start off by pressing the brown saute button. Start, we're gonna let our inner pot heat up and then add about a tablespoon of EVOO to the inner pot so that we can brown our ground beef. You can also use chicken for this recipe for a quick one pot meal. You don't have to saute the chicken beforehand. You just throw all of your ingredients in and it will cook together. So now that our olive oil is heated up, we're gonna add in our ground beef, get that browned. At this point, you could throw in a taco seasoning packet. I'm just going to simply season the beef with a few spices. We'll add in about a tablespoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of pepper. As our ground beef is cooking, we'll add a can of diced green chili. You can get the printable recipe card for both the ground beef and chicken version on my blog at www.crockpotempire.com. And don't forget, if you are enjoying this YouTube video, please go give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. Now that our beef is brown, we're gonna press stop on our multi-cooker and add in one can of corn, a can of black beans, and the star of the show and secret ingredient to this Mexican casserole, salsa con queso dip. Just pouring it in, you know it's going to be good. And for good measure, add a cup of shredded Mexican style cheese blend on top. Place the lid on lock, put the valve on no venting, press the beans chili button, and decrease the time to only six minutes. And press the start button. If you wanted to make this with chicken, you would press the poultry button and it would auto-populate to 15 minutes. We're gonna let this come under pressure, let all the ingredients meld together, and in a few minutes, we'll have dinner on the table. So the timer has just gone off. We're gonna open up our lid and look at that yummy goodness. We have beef, cheese, beans, corn, and it's the perfect mixture to put in some tacos, but we're going to actually place it on top of some cornbread. We're going to use Zatarain's cheddar jalapeno cornbread, which complements this mixture perfectly. So we've prepared our cornbread mix according to package directions. Now we're just going to put our mixture into a small casserole dish and put it in the oven to bake. Now that our cornbread is out of the oven, we're just going to take our mixture and pour it right on top. So you could stop here and serve, or you could add one more cup of cheese like I did, because you know we love cheese. And then just put it in the oven for a few minutes to let that cheese melt and get that beautiful golden brown. I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. You can get the printable recipe card with exact ingredients on my blog, www.crockpotempire.com. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter if you're not already. I'm always posting new content on my life, favorite products, and newest recipes. Top it with a dollop of sour cream and dinner is served. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Crockpot Empire.